Welcome back guys. Uh, and in this video, what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually bring the master data services into the picture. Now, if you remember, we have already get the the, uh, the incorrect dates out. Now we, our date is correct. So what I'm going to do, and if you remember, I've already discussed the nested query concept. I'm just going to, to write a nest, uh, a, nest, a nest query because that will help me to check further in the same query, to check the further quality rules in the same query. Uh, so uh, what I'm going to do as a next step, I need to know uh, how many records are, uh, are mapped against my uh, mapping table, right? So in order to do it, I'm going to write the, uh, 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 the join statement to, to make sure once I link it with my standard uh, metadata uh, or master data list, it should uh, 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 align or complying with the standard list that have already created in my master data services. All right. So I'm just going to give it a, 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 a dummy name X, uh, the inner query, where it will uh, uh, represent it uh, by this this uh, uh, table, but you can even call it anything else. So even what you know what we can uh, call it, but that's going to be quite uh, uh, lengthy and it's going to take time. We can call it online. With, with filter invoice. It, right but then you can see it's a quite long name but we can use it right because it's just like a, another table name so let me just shorten it out uh let me just call it or right and i'm going to now in a join uh with uh my mapping table which is sitting in the mapping schema so you can see as soon as i type the schema the schema pop up i just select and then we have the country code. I'll just give it another uh, input. And now I'm going to join based on OR dot there must be some error. Oh, so, sorry, we can't use OR. That, that's good that because it's, that's the operator name. So let's uh, ORL. I think that's that's much better. Or is the operator in in SQL, so it won't allow us to. So let's see. Yeah, we can select the the country name, and on the C side, we know the the country name is sitting on the on the uh on, on the uh, uh, the uh, the the name uh, uh, attribute, right? So that's that's pretty much it. Now we can see we are joining, but in order to before even join a what we can do, let's see how many records we are going to get, right? And by the way, because we have nested it out, so I know how many records we are going to get. We are going to get 537113, but just to, to confirm, yeah, 537113, which is good. Now we are going to open uh, and link it, but this time, now what we're gonna do, We are going to ORL and we are getting all the column, but on the C side, let's say we have the requirement to get the three letter uh, 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 country code, right? As part of this uh, 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 data set. Now, let me run it and let's see how many records we are going to get. So you can see uh, as, as soon as we start increasing the, the join, the performance uh, start coming down because obviously we haven't defined any keys or indexes on, on our uh, uh, tables, right? But that's fine We are because we are in the landing or staging zone and we don't need to uh, uh, don't need to worry about the, 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 uh, the keys or, or the indexes at this stage. Uh, we'll sort it out later, right? So now uh, you can see the uh, the record set has been dropped further uh, or it reduced to 528616, right? So that means we have some records where we have issued 528616, right? Which are not mapping against our standard list of value. But the, 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 the uh, 
uh, the uh, the number of records are pretty small, which is a good sign that most of our records are mapping against our uh, MDS, right, or master data, which is good. So let me just see, 537, 113 minus 528, 616, and let's see. So we have 8,497 records, right? So, all right, so we have the issue. Uh, mapping countries and we have 8,497 8,497 records with incorrect mapping all right, so I just want to see, so now for this, uh, in order to see, I need to convert my join from uh, inner to left. And what I'll do, I'll just you now put the condition, uh, obviously because the, the, the number of records, if they are not matching with the, with the uh, right-hand side, and I'm getting all the record uh, from the left-hand side, the right-hand side is going to be null, right? So based on that condition, I'm, uh, I can get the, those records which are not uh, mapped against my uh, master data country list, right? So what I'm going to now do, it's none, right? Because uh, left join returns you all the record from the left hand side. And obviously the records which are not matching as part of the equal condition, those records from the right hand sides are gonna be null, right? So that's my indicator that, okay, there's a problem with my uh, country value on the left hand side. All right, now let's run it to see uh, either we are going to get the 8497. All right, so we are getting more 9749, right? Which is interesting. Uh, okay, so let's see why it is. it has increased the, the number of records. 8497. Sorry, let me see what calculation I did. So five to oh my God. it's not null, right? So let's see. Sometimes you just see these small uh, differences and we can fix it by running the, the queries to identify the, where the, the issue exists. So we have five to eight, six, one, six, which is good. Like we are getting all the records, right? Okay, perfect. And if I do this, which is the opposite condition, nine, seven, four, nine, let's uh, add these two together. Five two eight six one six plus nine seven four nine right five three eight three six five all right so we are still getting some some records where we do have let me see if I have uniqueness in my or what I can do how about if I just do the distinct I had a doubt there must be some repetition. I will find it out. 9733. Three. Now it's getting more complicated. Uh, all right. So let's see. So that's all part of the, uh, the data uh, uh, analysis or, uh, you know, the the most 
uh, I would say, uh, time consuming part of the, the data and analytics where you have to clean your data. And that's where, that's why uh, most of the data scientists or the, the analytics personnel, they mentioned that most of their time uh, has been spent in cleaning the data because sometimes we get the, the data, which doesn't make uh, any sense at all, right? And we need to find out, okay, where the problem is, how we can fix it, right? So let me quickly see if I can, yeah, country code. And we have, how many we have? 223, all right, and do we have the string name? I'm going to get 223 now we have, so we have one, uh, one duplicate. So let's see which duplicate we are going to get. And I'm going to now. By naming and having uh having. Uh, greater than one, right? Let me just put my having spell all good. I'm just going to now see which country has. Oh, Australia. We have two Australias. All right. So in our data, so you you can see because of the Australia, uh, we we uh, we are getting this issue, right? And I believe we have uh multiple records that, that has been uh, attached with, with uh, Australia. All right, so I'm just going to fix my data set. We have one Australia in, in, in here and then another Australia. So you can see we have two Australia. So I just identify, yeah, we have two Australia. I'm going to do now, I'm just going to delete this record. So let me see how I can delete, yeah, delete member. Yes. All right, so if I run it back, so that, that's where you're gonna see the power of uh, MDS. The business change the value uh, and it's immediately reflect in the, in the backend system. So there's no need for IT involvement or SQL involvement. Uh, you can work directly in the, in the, uh, on the business side and you can see the impact on, on the, uh, on the, uh, on the analytical system, right? So we are good. Let's see if we can uh, run it now just to see how it's going to uh, look like now. So we still have 9733, but how about if we just now change the condition in is not not right because now at least we know that we have the unique so let's see five two eight six one six that number is going to be changed i believe okay that's much better five two seven Three, six, four. Right. So I believe now we are going to get a better uh, result. Uh, let me just take this not out. I just want to now check is the total now matching. I will still have some issues. So five two seven three six four and the other one we have nine seven four nine nine seven four nine and if I just now move up we have five three seven. Uh, 113, so let's add these two together. So we have 527, 364, plus 9749, All right? So which is now matching 537, 113. So you can see how sometime the, the, the data uh, uh, trick us up. So I'll just show you the, the, uh, the Practical scenario where if the data set in the uh, in the master data services is not correctly entered, is going to impact on the incoming data, right? And how we can investigate and how we can fix it, right? So now at least we know that okay, we have. 
take the security uh, out because we don't need it. So it's better always to do cleanup side by side. Let me save this uh, query on, on, on my system because I don't want to lose my work. So what I'll do, let's see if I can save it in, in, in here. anything in this folder let me quickly check all right yeah i can just create the maybe scripts yeah. detail information and work all right so that's going to be my my script uh now at least if i just put it back so you're gonna see that now with this one, up to this point, we reach to the point where we have the standard invoice state and we have all the records which are coming and they are complying with our uh, standard uh, country uh, uh, name convention, right? And the, the, the proof is that we are getting uh, the, the respective three letter code as part of our uh, master data services. So we are not relying on the incoming country information. We are using our own country code, which has been defined as part of our master data services. So that, that's how we generally use the master data services in our uh, in our standardization stage uh, as part of the data quality work. So, you know, in all these articles where we discuss the data quality and how it's going to impact on your, on your uh, data and analytics framework, that's the example. That's how you generally use it in, in your, you know, uh, and data and analytics platform. And that's how you clean your data, standardize your data, because these codes, they are defined by our enterprise not we are uh, getting it from outside right we are getting the the part of the value from the outside but we are mapping it against the uh, the standard list of value which we have defined within our organization and that that's the true implication of the master data services or or the master data uh, management in any or modern uh, enterprises right so feel free if you have any question or need to know further about this video happy to answer put your comment otherwise thanks for watching and and I believe you like it uh, and stay tuned for, for the next one.